Good morning, Miss Gliza. Good morning, Madam. Okay, Miss Gliza, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Gliza Manandai. I'm 30 years old. I'm married and I have two children. I finished three years in college at, at SRM Technology, Madam, and I have a work experience in a working in a hotel and I assigned to the housekeeping and to the kitchen, Madam. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid, madam, to earn money and to support my family, madam. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because people in Malaysia, madam, is very kind and nice to work with, madam. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? Because I know the household has madam. May I know what is your education level is? I finished three years college, madam. Okay. What is your recent working experience? Uh, I'm working in a hotel, madam, in the province. And I assigned to the housekeeping and to the kitchen, madam. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? None, madam. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, madam, because I'm the mother of two children, madam. Okay, how about elder or older people? Do you have the experience to take care? No, madam. Okay. Do you have... Okay, so even though uh, you don't have experience to take care of an elder or older people, but are you also willing to take care? Yes, madam. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, madam. Um, I have a special, a special skills, madam. Cooking, um, washing, ironing, and taking care of babies, madam. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, madam. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, madam. Currently, are you still working now? No, madam. Do you know how to cook? Yes, madam. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, madam. Like, for example? Adobo, adobo pastil, pinola, and minuto, madam. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, madam. From all the house chores, like cooking, cleaning, ironing, and washing, which do you like most? Cleaning the house and cooking. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband or my, my mother, madam. You are not allowed to use handphone or cell phone during working hours. Yes, madam. You are only allowed to use handphone or cell phone after you finish all the works and when going instead. Yes, madam. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, madam. If every employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, madam. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, madam. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, madam. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? I'm hardworking and disciplined person, madam. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I follow the rules and regulations, madam. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to invite friends or relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, madam. 
Okay. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Do you have any history of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, have you suffered from any serious illness? No, Do you smoke? No, Do you have any tattoo in your body? No, Do you take any prohibited drugs before? No, you undergone any operation or surgery? No, Are you medically fit? Yes, madam. Are you in any medication? No, madam. Are you allergic with any food? No, madam. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, madam. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, madam. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, madam. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, madam. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, madam. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, madam. Okay, Ms. Gliza, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me cheerfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work to finish your contract or you will go back? I will continue my work until I finish my contract. Okay, Ms. Gliza. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Gliza Manantai. I'm 30 years old. I'm married and I have two children. I'm 23 years in a college. I have a work experience in a hotel, work, working in a in hotel. I assigned to the kitchen and to the housekeeping madam. And I want to earn money to support my family, madam. Okay, Ms. Gliza, what do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Hi, ma'am. Please choose me because I'm a very kind person and hardworking and undisciplined, madam. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Gliza. We will update thank you, madam. the agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Yeah, thank you, madam.